and job prospects for students coming out of the consortium look to be phenomenal. According to Mr. George, at the National Security Agency alone, they plan on hiring about 2,000 certified cybersecurity professionals each year for the next five to 10 years, which does not even include similar job growth in private industry. Joining me now is Cheryl Hell, one of the founding members of the Cybersecurity Education Consortium. Now, I understand this consortium started here in Oklahoma, but now is growing outside the state. Mm -hmm. Yes, we started in 2004. We had four Oklahoma institutions uh, working with us. Now we've actually grown to an eight-state consortium with 32 members and growing. I would have to assume that when it comes to technology training, one of the hardest things is just keeping up with the technology. Oh, absolutely, and especially in information security, because the complexity of the technology is changing, the complexity and methods that hackers are using to invade computer systems is uh, very, very complex. Uh, for example, the Trojans they're now using are automatically morphing to change their file systems, making them very undetectable to most uh, antivirus softwares. Now, I understand that you've just received a $2.7 million grant from the National Science Foundation. Where will those funds be used? Well, throughout the eight state uh, region, we will be actually developing curricula and educational resources in three new strategic areas. In automation control systems, uh, most frequently referred to as SCADA systems, uh, mobile communication devices, and secure coding. Well, certainly an exciting program and one that looks to have just some great job prospects. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you.